Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kay. Thank you for joining me today. So in this video, um, which is the first of a kind for me, um, I thought I would share my colouring plans for April. So this was, it was like a tag created by uh, Sammy from Colour and Chat with Sammy a while back. Um, it was something like what's in my colouring bag and um, it's basically the, you know, where you plan to where you plan to colour a few books, um, pages in a, you choose books basically and which pages you want to colour in them. So mine is similar, I don't actually have a colouring bag, I have like a shelf where I put them um, for the books that I want to work in that month but I keep it quite, um, you know, open-ended as well. So I haven't, in some books I haven't yet 100% chosen which pages I want to colour but then um, you know I don't like to I don't like it to be too restrictive because you know things don't sometimes work out so the first book that I want to colour in and like I do every month is in a mythographic book so I chose the Enchanted Castles because I think last month I worked in um, what was it called the Paradise one so again this is by Fabiana Atanasio and um, I'm hoping to colour this one um, I'm thinking of colouring this one um, although I'm not sure I might even there is another book there is another page in here where is it where is it it's the underwater one this one which I may do so I might do that one or this one I haven't quite decided um, yet but I really like the hummingbird here so yeah I usually like to do one mythographic page at least so that's one of them one I hope to do and then I have a whip if you've seen my end of March completed pictures you know that I have got a whip in here which is the turtle so this one so I did the background and um, have not completed the rest of it so I'm hoping to do this I know there's loads of detail up here um, on, on the back of the turtle and also down here but I like detail, uh, probably use fine liners at some point in, in this as well uh, you know for all these bits coming off but yes I'm hoping to finish that one off because I don't really like having whips um, I'm a bit um, like what's the word quite uncomfortable about having too many whips um, so yes so that's that's one that I hope to get done during April. The next one um, is in Woodland Mandalas which finally arrived. I've been waiting for this book for so long and I am going to do a flip through of this. I think there's a couple of flips of this already on YouTube but not that many so I thought I'll, I'll do a flip. Uh, the flip will probably be with commentary so if you like quick flips uh, it might not be for you. So the one I'm hoping to do is this one with the two frogs on a pair of mushrooms so yes I really like this one um, and that's the one I'm hoping to do I've not considered which media I'm going to use I, I am leaning more towards pencil but I do really want to use my alcohol markers a bit more as well so yeah that's one that I want to do I think it's a really nice sort of spring type picture with frogs on it so that's that one from Woodland Mandalas by Tanya McArdle I think and then um, this is another book that I recently got which um, is called Vertical Worlds Colouring Books. It's a very tall uh, book and it's by Abby Dacre and there's a page in here, highly detailed images in this book um, as you can see. So this one's the one I've picked out that I would really like to do this month. Um, it's got lots of tiny details therefore um, I will be using fine liners, gel pens but for these bigger areas with the grass and maybe the trees I'll probably use pencil, probably polychromos or pablos because they hold a really good point. So that's the way I sort of work out you know what media I'm going to use. I think about the paper, this can take watercolour because it is quite thick so I might even use watercolour pencils actually you know for the larger areas so that will speed up the process and then fine liners and gel pens um, for part of it but I, I will probably use coloured pencils as well in some places I usually use a um, 
you know, combination. Then these um, are just recently acquired books as well, which are probably my favourite of Lulu Mayo's books. Um, so A Million Llamas, you'll have seen the completed one that I completed um, in March. So I'm thinking of doing this one, which is like some shelves with lots of little cute creatures on it. We've got cats, we've got mice. Um, we've got llama there, we've got some rabbits, I don't know what this is, looks like a little bit of a ghost. This cute little character here, another llama, so yeah, I I don't know, I, I just was, um, well there's loads of pictures to choose from, but I often find it quite difficult to choose pictures um, in books where I like most of the pages, but then I thought why not do this one because there's lots of cute cute creatures on it so that's the one I've picked out we'll see if I actually do this when I change my mind again but for now that's what I thought and then also in another one of Lulu Mayo's books because I really like her cute pictures and the size of the book as well um, so in a million cute animals I thought I'd possibly do this one which is uh, the two rabbits um, and yeah, there's daffodils in there and beautiful flowers, so I thought it was quite spring-like, so really appropriate for April. Um, the background is one which I think lends itself to, say, distress inks, or maybe um, some sort of crayons, like, I don't know, distress crayons or um, the gelatos. I, I need to sort of use some other media that I haven't been using that I do have in my stash so yeah that one and then of course the most beautiful circle of life uh, just my favorite book um, I really do want to complete it because that would be just awesome so the ones I have picked out is this one this is actually my second copy because I have actually started coloring so I won't color in this new copy but I have actually started coloring some of these pages in my original copy and I, I I wanted to sort of keep it as a surprise for you so this page here I love doing a scene so I think I want to do one scene and this is a beautiful scene and it's got books in it I love books and these beautiful trees and stuff so yeah that's one of them that I want to do another one is this one now this one is actually going to be a buddy colour with the lovely Helena at the colouring zone and that's a new channel that I've recently discovered and her colouring is just beautiful so I will hopefully remember to link her channel below so it's Helena um, from the colouring zone and she's just her colouring is awesome so yeah we are doing a buddy colour of this picture and what I thought is um, sort of a monotone background and then um, possibly glitter because you know of course it has to be glitter and then um, these bugs all these different bugs I want to make in different bright colors um, and use pencil maybe even ink tents um, and then gel pens and you know the usual stuff so that's another one that I hope to do and then the last one is this page that I want to um, colour in which is the frog life cycle one and um, being like a science nerd because um, I love science um, my subject so basically I um, this appealed to me and it appealed to me because um, the frogs have been about in my pond and they've um, left their spawn there and I don't know it just inspired me to sort of colour this page um, you know as a homage to them so yes that's that's the three pages that I've chose from Circle of Life I really hope I can actually complete all of these um, because I'll be disappointed if I can't so then I've got this Colouring Heaven magazine which I bought a while ago the Busy World special I really like Colin Thompson's um, art and um, I pre-prepared a page with um, satin, golden satin glazing liquid and it's this page that I pre-prepared, it's just a beautiful page 
uh, it's got the detail which I love and now I can use watercolour on it because of course the paper is thin therefore I had to prepare it for uh, watercolour mediums I hope to use watercolour pencils on here um, maybe even some I don't know watercolour crayons possibly so yeah so that's another one I'm hoping to do and it's a single page so I hope it doesn't take me too long um, I also use my water based fine liners for the small details because of course they've got a very small 0.3 0.4mm nib so it'll be good to get into all these smaller parts so yeah that's a busy world special nearly there and then one in Rita Berman's uh, book this is a compilation book um, and it's this one which is the um, a page I think that Helena did um, I mentioned her earlier um, from her channel on the colouring zone and her page looks so beautiful it just inspired me and I thought I have to do that page as well so then I did because of course it's got daffodils on there which are out at the moment and then the eggs for Easter so yeah that's one double page that I hope to get done and then um, I received my copy of Worlds of Wonder the eagerly anticipated book by Joanna Basford and um, I do want to do a page from here but I have not chosen a page yet so I do really want to do a page from here and I will do one page God willing um, but um, I'm not sure which page and I'll probably do possibly a colour and chat or maybe slash colour along type thing um, in this book um, because you know lots of people will have got this so yeah I haven't I haven't managed to choose a page um, it's probably going to take me a few days to figure out what page I want to do because it's so difficult to choose pages and then lastly um, I want to colour in one of these books um, that I've recently purchased um, just as a downtime thing because I colour a lot of detailed like pictures and um, I think I want a um, sort of a more easier colouring page to complete um, so either from this one which is colour by colour spring i saw this on someone's channel um it's by is it kirish yeah kirish Shashneva. and um i thought i'd give it a go because it's a new type of coloring book so um when i'm feeling like a little bit anxious which is a common thing uh, I might just colour one from here or maybe one from Hello Spring depending on how much time I've got left I think I did this one last um, that was in um, when was that yeah March March completed pictures so yeah uh, I was thinking of the nameplate page as well is a possibility and that will go for pebbles adult colouring my name in colour I think hashtag thing uh, so yeah I was thinking of that because that's really cute I really like the way the little birds are and then uh, possibly I just received this the other day from CL Aldridge for your fan favourites I think I saw Anne from A Colourful Life colouring in here and um, I have looked at this book before and I was meant to get it and then I don't know what happened probably forgot and um, yeah this is another downtime book uh, for me, it, you know, I like the patterns and things. So yes, th those are all the books that I hope to colour um, in April and we'll see how many I, I get done for the end of the month completed pictures. So thank you so much for joining me as always. Thank you for your comments, your likes and everything else, all your support. Um, take care and, and see you soon. Bye.